Okay, so we're going to look at um, a type of analysis by mass, and that is uh, measuring water content of a substance. Um, and so when we're doing these sorts of uh, calculations or problems, really we're talking about one sort of thing, which is heat. Heat is how we can actually um, find out the water content of something. Uh, so, uh, what we're going to do is, if you're doing um, an experiment of this sort, so say we have um, 351.2 grams of some tomato soup. Um, okay, and we want to find out uh, what the percentage mass of water is in our 351.2 grams of soup. Okay, so what you need to do is you would take your soup and you would heat it up, okay? Because we know that when we heat something, that water is going to be removed, okay? Uh, so let's say uh, this is our initial mass here. And then we're going to heat it up for a bit, and after we heat it for a while, we're going to weigh it again. Okay, and let's say we weigh it and we get 263.1 grams. Okay, this is after heating. Okay, now at this point, you're like, mmm, so I know that I've removed some water because the mass has obviously decreased, um, but how do you know that there isn't more water? still in your soup that needs to be removed. Uh, so what you do is you would then heat it again. Okay, so let's say uh, we chuck it back on, back on the heat, and we get um, 184.7 grams after heating. Okay, um, so you've waited again. And obviously, uh, more water has been driven off, okay? Um, now, at this point, we're still not sure if we've managed to get rid of all of it. Um, so, you guessed it, we're going to heat it again. And basically, you're going to keep doing this heating and weighing until you get um, a constant mass, okay? Um, now, we should also know that the equipment that we use in a chemistry lab uh, obviously, there is some degree of uncertainty. So say um, our scales here, we ended up with 184.7 grams again. Um, you know, if we had have got 184.8 grams, um, depending on the accuracy of our scales, that would potentially still be considered um, a constant mass. Okay, But here we've got the same, so we don't have to worry about uh, working out an average or anything like that. Now we're going to do our calculation. So we're going to find the mass of water. Now the mass of water is just going to be the initial mass of the soup minus the final mass. That's going to tell us the difference in mass. That is the water that has been driven off. So it's going to be 351.2 grams minus 184.7 grams and I can't be bothered doing it in my head so <laughs> you get your calculator out and you would chuck that in and we know now that the mass of water was 166.5 grams okay um, but that is still not the percentage mass that is what we want the percentage of the mass um, that is water okay now to find the percentage all you do is you take the mass of water which was 166.5 grams and you're going to divide it by the initial mass of your substance in this case it was 351.2 grams and to make the percentage times by 100 Okay, so when you do that, uh, you are going to get 47.4% uh, 